In this example, we have been asked to find each of the following by using what we call a change of base formula. You will have found your change of base formula in your notes, and it's basically as I have it written down below, I have just a slight change. Log base B, that B can be any base of an argument M, equals, and then what I've done in the change of base formula is I've specifically used understood logs of base 10. And basically here, what you can do is to rewrite any given log as a base 10 log. You take the base 10 log of your argument, put that on the top, and then you divide by base 10 log of your original base of the function. So on here, basically on the bottom, your base becomes the argument in your change of base formula. So on these, what I will do is pull up a calculator. All right, and let's say we want to do the first one. We have log base 12 of 3. I don't have a base 12 on my calculator. I do, however, have a base 10. And so the way we will rewrite this is we will rewrite it as log understood base 10 of 3 divided by log base understood 10 of 12. Notice that your argument always goes on the top and then your base always goes on the bottom as far as the 3 and the 12. Now if we type this in our calculator, then that expression will be equivalent to what we had originally. So log base 10 of 3 divide by log base 10 of 12 and then press enter. And I'm going to go ahead and round that to the nearest thousandth. So this one becomes 0.442. Okay, the change of base formula is a very easy formula, but it's one that you can easily forget if you don't have it memorized. Next one over, we have log base 2 of 8.64. That one, to type it in our calculator, we would do log base 10 of the argument on top, divide by log base 10 of 2. So log 8.64, close that parentheses, divide by log of 2, close that parentheses, press enter. This is 3.111 if we round to the nearest thousandth. And then finally, let me move my calculator so we can see. The last one is log base 6 of negative 7. Okay, now, if we're going to use the change of base, this would become log base 10 of negative 7 divided by log base 10 of 6. So I come to log negative 7 divided by log of 6. Now, I should be suspicious, and the reason I should be suspicious is because of the log of negative 7. I press enter, and it gives me a non-real answer as an error. Okay, I can't take any log of a negative number. And so even if I go and I try to use my change of base formula on this particular log, I get a non-real answer. So just put not a real number. Okay, so on this one, make sure that you memorize your change of base formula. As I've said, it's a very easy formula to use, but sometimes can be overlooked if you don't have it memorized.